Snoop Dogg. Calvin Cordoza Brodus Jr., born October 20, 1971, known professionally as Snoop Dogg, previously Snoop Doggy Dogg and briefly Snoop Lion, is an American rapper, songwriter, media personality, actor, and businessman. His fame dates to 1992 when he featured on Dr. Dre's debut solo single, Deep Cover, and then on Dre's debut solo album, The Chronic. Brodus has since sold over 23 million albums in the United States and 35 million albums worldwide. Brodus' debut solo album, Doggy Style, produced by Dr. Dre, was released by Death Row Records in November 1993, and debuted at number one on the popular albums chart, the Billboard 200, and on Billboard's Top R&B slash Hip Hop Albums chart. Selling 800,000 copies in its first week, Doggy Style was certified quadruple platinum in 1994 and bore several hit singles, including What's My Name? and Gin and Juice. In 1994, Death Row Records released a soundtrack, by Brodus, for the short film Murder Was The Case, starring Snoop. In 1996, his second album, The Dog Father, also debuted at number one on both charts, with Snoop's Upside Ahead as the lead single. The next year, the album was certified double platinum. After leaving Death Row Records in January 1998, Broda signed with No Limit Records, releasing three Snoop albums, The Game Is To Be Sold, Not To Be Told 1998, No Limit Top Dog 1999, and The Last Meal 2000. In 2002, he signed with Priority Slash Capital Slash MI Records, releasing Paid the Cost to be the Boss. In 2004, he signed to Geffen Records, releasing his next three albums, R&G, Rhythm and Gangsta, The Masterpiece, then The Blue Carpet Treatment, and Ego Trippin'. Priority Records released his album Malice in Wonderland during 2009, followed by Dogumentary during 2011. Snoop Dogg has starred in motion pictures and hosted several television shows, including Doggy Fizzle Telly Vizzle, Snoop Dogg's Fatherhood, and Dog After Dark. He also coaches a youth football league and high school football team. In September 2009, MI hired him as the chairman of a reactivated Priority Records. In 2012, after a trip to Jamaica, Brodus announced a conversion to Rastafari and a new alias, Snoop Lion. As Snoop Lion he released a reggae album, Reincarnated, and a documentary film of the same name, about his Jamaican experience, in early 2013. His 13th studio album, Bush, was released in May 2015 and marked a return of the Snoop Dogg name. His 14th solo studio album, Coalade, was released in July 2016. Snoop has had 17 Grammy nominations without a win. In March 2016, the night before WrestleMania 32 in Arlington, Texas, he was inducted into the celebrity wing of the WWE Hall of Fame, having made several appearances for the company, including as Master of Ceremonies during a match at WrestleMania XXIV. In 2018, Snoop announced that he was a born-again Christian and released his first gospel album Bible of Love. On November 19, 2018, Snoop Dogg was given a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. He released his 17th solo album, I Wanna Thank Me, in 2019. Early Life Calvin Cordoza Brodus Jr. was born on October 20, 1971, in Long Beach, California to Vernal Varnado and Beverly Tate. Vernal, who was a Vietnam War veteran, singer, and mail carrier, left the family only three months after his birth, and thus he was named after his stepfather, Calvin Cordoza Brodus Sr. 1948 registered trademark scene 1985. His father remained largely absent from his life. As a boy, his parents nicknamed him Snoopy due to his love and likeness of the cartoon character from Peanuts. He was the second of his mother's three sons. His mother and stepfather divorced in 1975. When Brodus was very young, he began singing and playing piano at the Golgotha Trinity Baptist Church. In sixth grade, he began rapping. As a child, Brodus sold candy, delivered newspapers, and bagged groceries to help his family make ends meet. He was described as having been a dedicated student and enthusiastic churchgoer, active in choir and football. Brodus said in 1993 that he began engaging in unlawful activities and joining gangs in his teenage years, despite his mother's preventative efforts. Brodus would frequently rap in school. As he recalled, 
When I rapped in the hallways at school I would draw such a big crowd that the principal would think there was a fight going on. It made me begin to realize that I had a gift. I could tell that my raps interested people and that made me interested in myself. As a teenager, Brodus frequently ran into trouble with the law. He was a member of the Rollins 20s Crips gang in the East Side neighborhood of Long Beach. Although in 1993 he denied the frequent police and media reports by saying that he never joined a gang. Shortly after graduating from high school at Long Beach Polytechnic High School in 1989, he was arrested for possession of cocaine, and for the next three years, was frequently incarcerated, including at Wayside Jail. With his two cousins Nate Dog and Lily with Circle Zero Udairis' five dead and friend Warren G, Snoop recorded homemade tapes. The four called their group 213 after the area code of their native Long Beach at that time. One of Snoop's early solo freestyles over Hold On by En Vogue was on a mix tap that fortuitously wound up with Dr. Dre. The influential producer was so impressed by the sample that he called Snoop to audition. Former N. W. Affiliate The Doc taught him to structure his lyrics and separate the themes into verses, hooks, and choruses. Musical career. 1992-1998, Death Row, Doggy Style, and The Dogfather When he began recording, Brodus took the stage name Snoop Doggy Dog. Dr. Dre began working with him, first on the theme song of the 1992 film Deep Cover and then on Dr. Dre's debut solo album The Chronic along with the other members of his former starting group, The Dog Pound. This intense exposure played a considerable part in making Snoop Dogg's debut album, Doggy Style, the critical and commercial success that it was. Fueling the ascendance of West Coast G-Funk Hip Hop, the singles Who Am I, What's My Name, and Gin and Juice reached the top 10 most played songs in the United States, and the album stayed on the Billboard charts for several months. A short film about Snoop Dogg's murder trial, Murder Was the Case, was released in 1994, along with an accompanying soundtrack. Brodus was acquitted of his murder charge on February 20, 1996. According to Brodus, after he was acquitted he did not want to continue living the gangsta lifestyle, because he felt that continuing his behavior would result in his assassination or a prison term by the time Snoop Dogg's second album, The Dog Father, was released in November 1996. The price of appearing to live the gangsta life had become very evident. This album featured a distinct change of style from Doggy Style, and the lead-off single, Snoop's Upside Ahead, featured a collaboration with Charlie Wilson. Stephen Thomas Erlewine of Elle Music said that after the Dog Father, Snoop Dogg began moving away from his gangsta roots toward a calmer lyrical aesthetic, 1998-2006 signing with No Limit and continued success Snoop Dogg performs in Hawaii for US military members in 2005 Snoop signed with Masterpiece No Limit Records distributed by Priority Slash MI Records in March 1998 and debuted on the label with Dog Game is to be sold not to be told later that year in 2002 he released the album Pay the Cost to be Dubbo Dollar Dollar on Priority Slash Capital Slash MI, selling over 1,310,000 copies. The album featured the hit singles From the Chutch to Dup Alice and Beautiful, featuring guest vocals by Farrell. In June 2004, Snoop signed to Geffen Records Slash Star Track Entertainment, both distributed by Interscope Records. Star Track is headed by producer duo The Neptunes which produced several tracks for Snoop's 2004 release R&G, Rhythm and Gangsta, The Masterpiece. Drop It Like It's Hot, featuring Farrell, the first single released from the album, was a hit and became Snoop Dogg's first single to reach number one. Snoop Dogg appeared on two tracks from Ice Cube's 2006 album Laugh Now, Cry Later, including Go to Church, and on several tracks on the Dog Pound's Kali Eyes Active the same year. His song, Real Talk, was leaked on the internet in the summer of 2006 and a video was later released on the internet. Snoop's 2006 album The Blue Carpet Treatment debuted on the Billboard 200 at NO.5 and sold over 850,000 copies. The album and the second single, That's That Shit, featuring R. Kelly were well received by critics. In the album, he collaborated in a video with E-40 and other West Coast rappers on the single, Candy, Drippin' Like Water. 
2007 to 2012, Ego Trippin, Malice and Wonderland and Dogmentary in July 2007, Snoop Dogg made history by becoming the first artist to release a track as a ringtone before its release as a single, It's the Dog, on July 7, 2007, Snoop Dogg performed at the Live Earth concert, Hamburg. Snoop was appointed an executive position at Priority Records. His 10th studio album, Malice and Wonderland, was released on December 8, 2009. The first single from the album, Gangs to Love, featuring The Dream, peaked at NO.35 on the Billboard Hot 100. Snoop collaborated with Katy Perry on California Girls, the first single from her album Teenage Dream, which was released on May 7, 2010. Snoop Dogg's 11th studio album is Doggermentary. The album went through several tentative titles including Doggy Style 2, The Doggermentary and Doggermentary Music, 0020 before being released under the final title Doggermentary during March 2011-2012-2013, reincarnated and 7 days of funk Snoop Dogg as Snoop Lion, 2013 on February 4, 2012. Snoop Dogg announced a documentary, Reincarnated, alongside his new upcoming studio album entitled Reincarnated. On July 31, 2012, Snoop introduced a new stage name, Snoop Lion. He told reporters that he was rechristened Snoop Lion by a Rastafari priest in Jamaica. In September of the same year, Snoop released a compilation of electronic music entitled Loose Joints under the moniker DJ Snowpedelic, stating the influence of George Clinton's Funkadelic. In an interview with Hip Hop Weekly on June 17, producer Symbolike One S1 announced that Snoop was working on his final album under his rap moniker Snoop Dogg. I've been working with Snoop, he's actually working on his last solo album as Snoop Dogg. 2014 to 2017, Bush, Coalade, and Nava left in August 2014, a clip surfaced online featuring a sneak preview of a song Snoop had recorded for Farrell. On June 13, 2016, Snoop Dogg announced the release date for his album Coalade, which was released on July 1, 2016. 2018 Registered Trademark Present, Bible of Love, I Wanna Thank Me, and From the Streets to the Sweets he released a gospel album titled Bible of Love on March 16, 2018 Snoop Dogg was featured on Lil Dicky's April 2019 single Earth where he played the role of a marijuana plant in both the song's lyrics and animated video. Snoop Dogg was among hundreds of artists whose material was destroyed in the 2008 Universal Fire. Early in 2020, it was announced that Snoop had rescheduled his tour in support of his I Wanna Thank You album and documentary of the same name. The tour has been rescheduled to commence in February 2021. In May 2020, Snoop released the song, Cum Audition, a collaboration with Bandasi Malone's Di Sergio Lizarraga, peaking at number one on the Billboard Bubbling Under Hot 100. On April 20, 2021, Snoop Dogg released his 18th studio album From the Streets to the Sweets. It was announced on April 7, 2021, via Instagram. The album received generally positive reviews from critics. Personal Life Snoop Dogg in August 2009 Snoop married his high school girlfriend, Shanti Taylor, on June 12, 1997. On May 21, 2004, he filed for divorce from Taylor, citing irreconcilable differences. 106, the couple renewed their wedding vows on January 12, 2008. They have three children together, son's card registered trademark paragraph sign, born August 21, 1994, and Cordell, born February 21, 1997, who quit football to pursue a career as a filmmaker, and daughter Corey, born June 22, 1999. Snoop also has a son from a relationship with Larry Holmond, Julian Corey Brodus, born 1998. He is a first cousin of R&B singers Brandy and Ray J, and WWE professional wrestler Sasha Banks. In 2015 Snoop became a grandfather, as his eldest son, card registered trademark paragraph sign Brodus, had a son with his girlfriend, Jessica Kaiser. Cord registered trademark paragraph sign had another son, Kai, who died on September 25, 2019, 10 days after birth. Since the start of his career, Snoop has been an avowed cannabis smoker, making it one of the trademarks of his image. In 2002, he announced he was giving up cannabis for good. 
that did not last long, a situation famously referenced in the 2004 Adam Sandler movie 50 First Dates. And in 2013, he claimed to be smoking approximately 80 cannabis blunts a day. He has been certified for medical cannabis in California to treat migraines since at least 2007. Snoop claimed in a 2006 interview with Rolling Stone magazine that unlike other hip-hop artists who had superficially adopted the pimp persona, he was an actual professional pimp in 2003 and 2004, saying, that shit was my natural calling and once I got involved with it, it became fun. It was like shooting layups for me. I was making them every time. Legal Incidents Mugshot 1993 Shortly after graduating from high school in 1989, Brodus was arrested for possession of cocaine and for the following three years was frequently in and out of prison. In 1990, he was convicted of felony possession of drugs and possession for sale. While recording Doggy Style in August 1993, Snoop Dogg was arrested in connection with the death of a member of a rival gang who was allegedly shot and killed by Snoop Dogg's bodyguard. Snoop Dogg had been temporarily living in an apartment complex in the Palms neighborhood in the West Los Angeles region, in the intersection of Vinton Avenue and Woodbine Street the location of the shooting. Both men were charged with murder, as Snoop Dogg was purportedly driving the vehicle from which the gun was fired. Johnny Cochran defended them. Both Snoop Dogg and his bodyguard were acquitted in February 20, 1996. In July 1993, Snoop Dogg was stopped for a traffic violation and a firearm was found by police during a search of his car. In February 1997, he pleaded guilty to possession of a handgun and was ordered to record three public service announcements, pay a $1,000 fine, and serve three years probation. In September 2006, Snoop Dogg was detained at John Wayne Airport in Orange County, California by airport security, after airport screeners found a collapsible police baton in Snoop's carry-on bag. Donald Itra, Snoop's lawyer, told deputies the baton was a prop for a musical sketch. Snoop was sentenced to three years probation and 160 hours of community service for the incident starting in September 2007. Snoop Dogg was arrested again in October 2006 at Bob Hope Airport in Burbank after being stopped for a traffic infraction. He was arrested for possession of a firearm and for suspicion of transporting an unspecified amount of marijuana, according to a police statement. The following month, after taping an appearance on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, he was arrested again for possession of marijuana, cocaine and a firearm. Two members of Snoop's entourage, according to the Burbank police statement, were admitted members of the Rollins 20s Crips gang, and were arrested on separate charges. In April 2007, he was given a three-year suspended sentence, five years probation, and 800 hours of community service after pleading no contest to two felony charges of drug and gun possession by a convicted felon. He was also prohibited from hiring anyone with a criminal record or gang affiliation as a security guard or a driver. On April 26, 2006, Snoop Dogg and members of his entourage were arrested after being turned away from British Airways First Class Lounge at Heathrow Airport in London, England. Snoop and his party were denied entry to the lounge due to some members flying in economy class. After being escorted outside, the group got in a fight with the police and vandalized a duty-free shop. Seven police officers were injured during the incident. After a night in jail, Snoop and the other men were released on bail the next day, but he was unable to perform a scheduled concert in Johannesburg. On May 15, the Home Office decided that Snoop Dogg would be denied entry to the United Kingdom for the foreseeable future, and his British visa was denied the following year. As of March 2010, Snoop Dogg was allowed back into the UK. The entire group was banned from British Airways for the foreseeable future. In April 2007, the Australian Department of Immigration and Citizenship banned him from entering the country on character grounds, citing his prior criminal convictions. He had been scheduled to appear at the MTV Australia Video Music Awards on April 29, 2007. The Australian Department of Immigration and Citizenship lifted the ban in September 2008 and had granted him a visa to tour Australia. The DX said, in making this decision, 
the department weighed his criminal convictions against his previous behavior while in Australia, recent conduct registered trademark C including charity work registered trademark C and any likely risk to the Australian community we took into account all relevant factors and, on balance, the department decided to grant the visa. Snoop was banned from entering Norway for two years in July 2012 after entering the country the month before in possession of 8 grams .3 ounces of marijuana and an undeclared 227,000 krona in cash, or about 24,900 US dollars as of August 2018. Snoop Dogg, after performing for a concert in Uppsala, Sweden on July 25, 2015, was pulled over and detained by Swedish police for allegedly using illegal drugs, violating a Swedish law enacted in 1988, which criminalized the recreational use of such substances registered trademark C there for making even being under the influence of any illegal controlled substance a crime itself without possession. During the detention, he was taken to the police station to perform a drug test and was released shortly afterwards. The rapid test was positive for traces of narcotics, and he was potentially subject to fines depending on the results of more detailed analysis. Although final results strongly indicated drug use, the charges were ultimately dropped because it could not be proven that he was in Sweden when he consumed the substances. The rapper uploaded several videos on the social networking site Instagram, criticizing the police for alleged racial profiling. Police spokesman Daniel Nilsson responded to the accusations, saying, We don't work like that in Sweden. He declared in the videos, Niggas got me in the back of police car right now in Sweden, cues, and, pulled a nigger over for nothing, taking us to the station where I've got to go pee in a cup for nothing. I ain't done nothing. All I did was came to the country and did a concert, and now I've got to go to the police station. For nothing. He announced to his Swedish fan base that he would no longer go on tour in the country due to the incident. Snoop Dogg has also been arrested and fined three times for misdemeanor possession of marijuana, in Los Angeles in 1998, Cleveland, Ohio in 2001, and Sierra Blanca, Texas in 2010. In the death row records bankruptcy case, Snoop Dogg lost $2 million.